Hey, just a quick tip on the ring starter. So this is kind of a fun one, but if you don't know how to make a basic simple ring, then it's kind of frustrating. And then you can't get to the fun stuff like making a big giant diamond or something like that. So let me show you uh, one trick that helped me with the ring and anything like a ring. So first I'm going to delete this cube, pressing delete or the X key and clicking delete and then uh, shift A. I'm going to get a torus. This is the, pr the um, primitive object that I start with, with a ring. And I used to avoid this because I didn't know how to use it. Um, but now that I do, I know this one trick, and now I use it for anything that's similar to a ring. So I'm going to go into edit mode. This won't work unless you're in edit mode, so press tab to go into edit mode. And there's two things that you need to do to this, and it doesn't matter which one's first, but I'm going to show you, um, well, I'm going to do the trick first, I guess. Alt S, so it's scaling it, but it's scaling the thickness of it. So Alt S. If I go up or down, then it makes it thin or thick. Now you might say neither, none of them look like a ring, but it, that's what I said, there's two parts to it. So I'm going to make it th pretty thin. I'm going to click, and then I'm going to scale it on the Z axis, the way it's showing right now, up and down. So S, then Z, and I go towards the middle, or let's see, away from it, and it makes it thick. So that right there, but those two things will make it look like a ring, just like that. So uh, let me show you that, show that one more time. If I'm in edit mode, I can do an Alt S. One other tip is to keep the cursor out here, away from the center when you scale stuff or rotate or anything, because it just, uh, I don't know, you can fine tune it a little better way out here. So Alt S changes the thickness. Uh, make sure you don't go inside out. And then um, if I scale it on the Z axis, if it's rotated, it would be a different axis but scaling on that axis makes it uh, thick, or I guess wide, a wide band. Okay, there's a simple ring. That's what you need to know for now. Um, the last thing I would do is put a subdivision surface modifier in it. Control 2 is the shortcut. Um, and what that does is it just creates a modifier to smooth it out, and then I could click the shading smooth to finish it off. And there we go. There's a pretty simple, a very simple, but easy ring right there. And then I could spend more time sticking a, a big rock on it or something. <laughs> the finer details of the ring. That's all I wanted to show you. Good luck. Have fun. Spend 15 minutes on this starter and then put it in your starter to document screenshot.